Moving back now to that breaking news, we're following out of North Highlands where Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a shooting that did leave a man dead. So this happened out on Myrtle Avenue near Watt Avenue at Roseville. We go back to case three three Melanie Wingo and Melanie, you just had a talk a chance to talk with the sheriff's office. Yeah, we just moments ago spoke with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office and we have a little bit more information to give you all of this unfolding around 215 this morning, according to the Sheriff's Office. That's when they got a call about a shooting at this business park. And when the initial responders got here, they found a man dead from a gunshot wound. Now we have some video to show you from earlier this morning when we first arrived at the scene. Lots of investigators, lots to piece together on this one. Still no clear sense of exactly how this happened. But what investigators tell us is that they're going to be trying to pull any information they can from this business park itself. Of course, we're just even where we are seeing some cameras affixed to the buildings here in this area. Area. So what they'll be doing is trying to review surveillance video from the scene. Also surveillance videos from the nearby intersections. Of course, Watt Avenue is very close by. We are near McClellan Park. And so all of these things will be pieced together according to the sheriff's office. And here's what they had to say about that evidence. This business complex here, uh, obviously the street cameras over here. So it is a very developed and busy area, but not at 2.15 in the morning. So again, a lot of a lot of things to work through, a lot of peculiar little facts that uh, investigators will work through to hopefully try to find who did this. And back out here live again, this is called the Watt 80 Business Park, and you can see investigators still out here sort of triangulating all the information they have. We are not far from exactly where they found this individual dead. So we will be out here throughout the morning trying to figure out if they have uh, any clear sense of how this person died. Uh, we'll bring that information to you as soon as we get it. Reporting live from North Highlands, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. And we will continue following this breaking story throughout the morning. So be sure to stay updated through the KCRA app on your phone. You can download it, turn on the push alerts, and you'll get informed of any new developments as they're happening.